Hello everybody, Mitch and Mr. Hockey here, and today we're going to talk about the New York Rangers cutting Kevin Shattenkirk, and then and then Kevin Shattenkirk being signed to a one-year, $1.75 million contract by the, who else? The Tampa Bay Lightning. The Rangers dropped $6.65 million in annual salary, so they have now $1 million of free cap space, so they could only sign one more player because you have to pay a player at least $800,000 a season or something $750,000. Um, Shattenkirk said I was, I was pretty pissed about it. <laughs> He's an offense and power play, power play specialist. The defenseman, he averages 50 points per 82 games. Um, he could be a bust of bargain. Um, from t 2010 to 2017, he yeah he averaged 50 points per 82 games. He finished top 20 in Norris Trophy voting three times during that span. The Lightning salary cap, nine million dollars. Um, there and um and they and they should be able to sign Braden Point. But even if they but even if they do sign Braden Point, this could be a potential disaster for them. Let me just read how I think they would line up. Um, Victor Hedman and Mikhail Sergachev, uh, Ryan McDonough, Eric Cernak, and Braden Coburn and Kevin Chankirk. So obviously, they've gotten rid of Dan Girardi, they've gotten rid of Anton Strawman, um, and now Chankirk will play with Braden Coburn. Used to be fierce rivals, I'm pretty sure. The Rangers, they will line up with Brady Shea, Jacob, and Jacob Truba, Mark Stahl, and Adam Fox, and Leroy Hayek, sorry if I don't say that right, and Anthony D'Angelo. Now let me go back to the Lightning. The Lightning problem is here. Henman's a good defenseman. Turgachev's a good defenseman. McDonough's a good defenseman. Uh, uh, um, Shannon Kirk, he could be, he said, but he could be a really good defenseman. The problem is, is that Shattenkirk's going to play on the second power play, and that doesn't matter. The problem here is, if the problem here is that if they lose a guy to suspension, injury, whatever, or they have to trade one of them for whatever reason, then then they don't, they have a hole in their defense. What I mean is that, like their forwards, if they lose Kucherov for they lose Kucherov for two games. It's okay. They're they're gonna be fine. They got Stamkos, Point, and he resigns, and now he should be good. Um, they got Kalorn. They got Anthony Sorelli. They got the twenty-eight point two percent power play. Uh, they got wh whoever. But on their defense, if one of these six guys, Hedman, Sergachev, McDonough, Cernak, Coburn, and or Shattenkirk, gets injured, or suspended, or whatever, is or is, is out. It's out of the lineup. They don't have um, decent replacements to fill in. They have replacements, but they don't have good ones. And they'll, they'll leave holes. And if you get down to the nitty gritty of the playoffs and guys are injured, then you've got a weak D core. Now you could be saying, oh yeah, yeah, yeah but the Canadians, they don't have, they don't have as good a D core. Why are you comparing them? Why are you talking about the Lightning? The Canadians, okay, yes, yeah, obviously, I mean, they don't have the decor like the Lightning, but if one of them gets injured, they have a 7th D, they have an 8th D, and they're able to use them, and they've got the cap space to sign somebody. The Lightning, all their cap space is gone to, is going to go to Braden Point, if, or either you get Braden Point for like the 9 million you have, and, or whatever. And you and you lose the cap space, or you don't get him, and you don't get Braden Point. The, the Canadians have the cap space to go and sign. And they have a seven C, they have a seventh defenseman, and they have the cap space to go and sign an eighth defenseman or a ninth defenseman if they need it. But Tampa Bay doesn't have a reliable reliable replacement if these guys, if one of them goes off. And then you have the point that. Um, that you're gonna have some free agents coming up because you've got Mikhail Sergachev next year, um, Anthony Sorelli, um, and um, the one one note about the Rangers is about the defense and the holes. It's not as big of a problem because you are because you're rebuilding. 
um, it's a di it's different that because because the lightning are win now mode is Stamkos, Kucherov, Vasilevsky. Um, you should see the Vasilevsky contract video I made about it. I think it's a good one. Yeah, it's not a big deal if they fall short in the first round of the playoffs. It's okay. You got you took it from the bottom from having number two pick all the way up to the playoffs. It's okay, but. But if the Lightning, if they go and they don't have anyone to replace and they're trying to win the Stanley Cup, then that could be a problem. Fan base is already upset. You don't want to make them more upset. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think. Um, tell your friends about the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.